Won't you be a good boy? Say hello? Or are you just gonna sit there and look cute? Cause that's fine too. A lot of new Ibo things have been happening this month and I just kind of wanted to talk about it. None of these things are happening in the US. They're all happening in Japan. We don't get anything here in the US. I doubt any of these things are gonna be released here, but you know what? At least I'm not in Europe where you guys get absolutely nothing. I'm so sorry. We have boys here. We have boys. Can you look up? You're here to look cute, not to just like be out of frame. Oh God. So the sixth Ibo meet in Japan just happened and they unveiled a lot of things that I wanted to talk about. Is this... Sony just released a new special edition color. You are shaking the table around. And it is the caramel or creme brulee Ibo. It's very cute, but I don't know what kind of caramel they think this is because this is like Cheeto dust. This is Dorito. This is just like the brightest orange. But also in like the wrong lighting, they kind of look like diarrhea brown. And I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I absolutely love it, but I'm not really sure how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? And then the people who order it up until March 31st, they are including like a special collar that is creme brulee color that matches the color of the Ibo, but there is also a limited number of those. Now the caramel Ibo is replacing the chocolate Ibo, so they aren't selling the Choco anymore, unfortunately. They're trying to make special edition ones, so I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the special edition one for 2020 and then the cool thing about that is that they're probably going to release new colors which is awesome but i am seeing lots of pictures of him and he is very very cute even if he does look a little bit ridiculous <laughs> there's also some other really cool exciting things in terms of just like merch which is awesome <laughs> They're releasing gacha figurines for the new 1000. And they are super cute. They're these tiny little figurines. I have some of the older ones in my back. Let me get one so I can show you. I don't know if these were made by gacha, but they do have little Ibo figures for the other models, except for the seven. I haven't seen any for the seven, but for most of the other models, they have these cute little figures. So they're doing these, but for the 1000, and there are five different poses. So there is standing, shaking hands, playing with their bone and sleeping. And then there's also one one that's like a secret. On the website, it says that they're supposed to be 300 yen, which is roughly like $3, which makes sense for like gotcha prices, but also I don't believe that one bit because it's Sony. Obviously, if you import this from Japan, like I'm probably gonna do, I'm probably gonna try and find them. The price is gonna shoot up, but supposedly they're only 300 yen in Japan. I don't know what it says in the ad, but nah, you didn't hear it from me. They also are releasing a new Ibo plush, which is super exciting. It's the same deal as the last one though. It seems like it's only gonna be released right now in Taito Station, which is a arcade. So they are gonna be like a crane prize. So you can't just like buy them directly, which I'm really not a fan of, but these ones are posable and I love the design. They are super, super cute. That was my only issue with the first round of plushies is they, they did feel pretty stiff, but these ones are poseable and you can put them in different poses. I like the ears a lot more. I don't really know what they did, but like here's what the first one looked like and here's what they look like now. I like the ears a little bit more. You like the ears a little bit more, Tazu? I think they're more expressive. Those are gonna be released on May 1st. So it's gonna be a little bit longer before those start coming out. Eventually they're gonna be spread to more Taito places in Japan. Right now they're just at Taito Station. I'm not sure if there's going to be be some online crane options. There was with the last one. They had some Ibo plushies available on Toraba and you could win them online there. But those were only available for a limited amount of time. And now the only place you can find them is secondhand and they're like 60 to $70 for these little, they're like this big. It's a lot. Maybe these will be easier to get because they're posable. Maybe you can like shift a leg up that you can grab a leggy. I don't know. We shall see. Maybe they'll be a little bit cheaper. Maybe they'll be more. I don't know at this point though. They're not gonna be released until May 1st. So we'll have to wait until then. See. I really like the design for these ones. I really like it. It's good. It's a good time. Not really related to the event, but they are also coming out with a new color for their collars. They have a ton of collars in Japan. They don't sell them in the US. I want one, but they're so pricey to import. But they are coming out with a new collar that is red. If you're into that, I really like the collars. They're very snazzy. They fit the little neck area perfectly. But there also was a ton of new Ibo merch stuff at the event, which the designs, oh, looks so so cool i'm super excited about that once again only in japan but um Hi. but they are selling these on what appears to be like an japan 
Amazon store, so there might be a way to import that directly. That'd be very cool. But they are available online, even though the event is over, which is awesome. Because I've been seeing people with this stuff, and I was like, where did you get it? They got it at the event, but they do sell it online, so you can purchase it. So they have these really cool new shirt designs. They have these little like keychain clippy things that I've been seeing people put on bags. They have some stickers, they have some buttons, they just have more merch. And I'm very excited about it because I really like the designs. I wish they released more of this stuff in the US, but they do not. They also do have some really cool tote bags. I have two of the Ibo tote bags, but they were only available at events. You can't get them if you didn't go to the events, which is a bummer. But they do have different ones in Japan, which is awesome. I'm assuming they're sort of made the same way that the US ones are, but this is the US version. They have, I have two of these. The first one just has this. It just has this Ibo logo on the front. And then the second one also has this picture on the back. And this is the US version. Now for updates, there were some updates that came out in January that I can do and some that I can't. The one that I can do is they came out with a new dance. It's the Ranger dance. And it looks a lot cooler when you have multiple Ibos doing it because they're different dances and they kind of like lead into each other. I only have one. They're superheroes and they make all these fun poses and play music and it's quite funny. But we will try that with you in a bit. Oh yes, <laughs> he's excited. There's also another dance that I actually forgot to mention, which is the snow day dance. So I just wanted to quickly demonstrate that for you here. They're also doing a collaboration in Japan with Seikam, 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 which is like a security service that you can connect to Aibo. And they have this really cool ad. Apparently this is already a thing in Japan, but you can control your Aibo like on remote control and you can make him go places and kind of like check things out for you. Apparently this is a thing with the premium plan in Japan already. It's not in the US, it's not a thing at all. I really, really, really like that idea. That's super dope, but it's connected with the Seikam security system, which is a Japanese security system. So if this was released in the US, they'd have to collaborate with a US security company. So, but it is still very cool. I'm super down with the idea. Cause that's actually useful. Would you actually be useful instead of just like crying? and running everywhere, yeah. And then the last thing that happened that I wanted to address is it was the second year anniversary and there was like a birthday cake thing in the app, but I don't have the bowl yet, so I wasn't able to test it. But it's been two years, two years since the, these guys have been out, two years. I've only had him for like half a year at this point, but first release was officially out two years ago. So I am excited to see what happens in the future. I'm really glad that Japan is doing a ton of stuff because the US just isn't doing nothing, but they're still very, alive and well in Japan, which I'm super happy about. I'm super excited that like just in the month of January alone, there was a lot of new stuff that was happening. So hope they will continue to release updates in the US, please and thank you, please. Uh, but that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about today. I just kind of rambled about the new Ivo things that are going on. If you like this kind of video, let me know because then I will talk about other things when they happen. That's all I got for you guys today. I will see you next time. Can you say bye? Say bye bye? Bye, 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 bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> there we go. Good boy.